Okay, so let's talk about this moving situation. I don't like it. Um, does anyone ever feel like when they move that they have a gajillion more items than you thought that you had? Because that's how I feel. Um, and I also just feel like that nothing is packed like I want it to be. Like, I feel like I had this whole, like, oh, I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna pack all this stuff and it's gonna be easily transported. I'm just telling you right now, if you're gonna get ready to move or do any of that stuff, cut out the expectations because things are not gonna go the way that you want them. You're not gonna be packed in enough time. It's just a whole thing. So I'm laying here tonight on a blow up mattress because this is my last night in my very first apartment and it's kind of bittersweet but I'm kind of just ready to like, I've been kind of like unsettled for a month now and I'm tired of eating out, I'm tired of eating off of plastic dishes, I'm tired of doing all the rest of this stuff so I'm just excited to be in a new place and stay tuned because tomorrow is going to be heck tick. Good morning. So it's the day of the move and I already started to like try and pack up some stuff. So, so yeah, we're just going to do this this morning by myself. So what I'm really worried about, if I'm being honest, is do you see this outside i'm about to try and do some stuff in that and i'm a little i'm a little worried so i'm gonna get going and i'm gonna go to church this morning and then we will see you after that okay so i just got to the new place and of course, yes, it is raining outside. Uh, we love that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys a kind of a four of my new place. So let's take a look. Here's what it looks like when you first enter. Not that anybody cares, but I love this part. The washer and the dryer. What a good time. Okay, here is the kitchen area. We love to see it. Elena made some pumpkin bread last night, so I'll be having some of that for breakfast. Here is the living space. So Elena's getting rid of this couch and I am bringing my couch and then we're gonna DIY some really fun stuff on the couch. So then you walk down this hall and I am all the way at the end of the hall. So this is my room. Sorry, it's a little dark. Let me turn on the light. So here's my room. It has a nice, wonderful view of Highway 75, which I'm okay with because that's actually kind of fun to watch. So yeah, that's cool. Um, and then we're gonna go over here into the bathroom. This is my favorite part, honestly, because I've never had my own bathroom before. So this is really nice. So we have all of this wonderful closet space here in the bathroom, which is so necessary and so needed. Um, and then we have awesome storage underneath here, which is really great because I forgot about these drawers. So that is gonna be super helpful. And then we have that little area. And then the shower is super nice. I'll be taking lots of baths, love a good soak. And here is the stinking closet. Honestly, this closet is like made for two people. I don't know how anybody could possibly fill this up unless they were married or they were living with someone else. Okay, so we talk about this perfect lighting right here on this window seal. This is great. Okay, well, um, it's about 9.19. I don't have to be anywhere until 10.30. That only takes me 20 minutes to get to, so that's really great. Um, so I think, honestly, like, instead of unpacking, 
I just really need to take it slow this morning. And I think that's what everybody should do. So like I have a background in event planning and I really loved it a lot. But what I learned is that if you can make the day as stress-free as possible, then that's how you're gonna learn to have grace with yourself and have grace with others. I'm pretty much prepped for plan B all the time when it comes to event planning. So, you know, <laughs> the rain doesn't bother me. There's really always a fix. I just am really kind of tired of being unsettled. So I'm ready to just kind of move in today. And if, if worse comes to worse and I just move in all of my stuff, as long as I have a bed to sleep on, I'm really okay with that. So we'll go from there. But tips that I learned move stuff a little at a time if you can so that means when you're looking for an apartment try and find a place that you can move in maybe like two weeks before that kind of starts two weeks before try and do it within the same month so that depending on kind of how you do the whole you know three roommates, one roommate, two roommates, whatever the case may be, you can always work that out where you end up paying like your prorated rent. And then, you know, taking, I've learned so far that taking over someone's lease is like the best thing that's ever happened because I didn't have to pay double rent, which is a huge money saver. But if you can't do that, just try and do it kind of like in the middle of the month where you're not trying to move the day you're supposed to move out because that is a big no-no. I, I've only moved like once out of my parents' house, so I haven't really experienced that, but I did learn this time, like just hearing from different friends and helping with different friends, do not move out on the day that you have to turn your keys back into the complex. Also, another pro tip, if you work a nine to five job like I do, don't try to move in the middle of the week, unless you're okay with moving in the evening time. But that just adds a lot of stress to you and that's why I'm trying to get it all done today. Now, that goes to say, if we don't get everything moved in, I still have a week to go over there every night if I need to. But like I said, I'm tired of being unsettled, so I'd rather just go ahead and do it now. <laughs> so another pro tip, try and hire someone to clean. Now I know that sounds like an unnecessary expense, but the place that I was coming from, there was no security deposit. And for those of you watching my video that don't know what a security deposit is, when you jump into <clears throat> an apartment for the very first time, they make you pay a certain amount of money to kind of secure your spot, if that makes sense. Um, but then it's kind of like a loan money. So you'll pay the money when you first move in and at the end of your lease, for the end of the time that you're there, they will give you that money back. If the place is spotless and there's no damage to the walls or any of the appliances or really any of that stuff that came with the apartment, you'll get that money refunded. I didn't have that at my place that I was coming from. I do have it here, so we'll definitely need to make sure. But my old roommate, we are hiring somebody to clean just because, you know, it takes away a lot of the stress and that's just an expense that we want to do. It's very possible to clean your own apartment. All you have to do is just go buy some cleaning supplies, recruit some of your friends, and, and do it. Like, it can be done too. But if you can afford it, hire someone to come and do a deep clean because that will be a lifesaver to you. Um, what else? Try and come to clean your new space before you have to move in. I wish I would have done this and I didn't think about it but putting like a deodorizer on the floor will kind of just help whoever was living there before you. It will just kind of ensure you that the carpet is all together because sometimes apartment complex replace the carpet before the new person comes in and sometimes they don't. So unless you want to be walking all over this nasty carpet, do deodorizer. Trust me, if you need a recipe, I'll give you one. Just hit me up. Um, what else? Try and pack, it's almost like you're getting ready to go to the hospital to have a baby. Try and pack like an overnight bag of sorts or an overnight 
suitcase or an overnight box or something that has at least like three pairs of clothes, like the whole shebang, you know, shorts, t-shirt, all the under stuff. Pack that stuff, pack toilet paper, pack shampoo and conditioner, like everything that you need to function for one day with the exception of like extra pairs of clothes. Because if worse comes to worse, you can at least take a shower, like make a pallet on the floor if that's what you need to do, but at least you have stuff because that's so important. Like you don't wanna get where you pack up all your stuff and then you don't have anything to function with. That's like a big no-no. Um, let's see, what else? Just practice self-care through the day because I know that it's especially hard sometimes if you're like me, kind of type A, to really, I don't know what's the word, to really just get angry because you don't really know what's happening or what's going on or what you want. You're kind of in a disheveled space and a lot of people are asking you questions. Just be calm and kind of come up with a plan. If you're really extra, like I would typically be if I had thought this through, um, just make a list, make a layout of where everything goes so that you can just give it to everyone and they know exactly where to put certain boxes in the house, which is so helpful. But yeah, I am gonna get ready and kind of just relax and take my time. And then I will see you later for the big move. Bye.